Alrighty, how's it going guys? Chris here, the Supercar Suspects. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. For the viewers that may not know, this right here is my old 850 horsepower Evo 10 that's been sold to a good buddy of mine that's lent it to me to film this video for you guys today. As you guys can tell, my guy Dre has done drastic changes to the Evo here, including the taillights. He actually wrapped over the trunk, left the top exposed carbon fiber. Went through a couple set of tires, I know that for sure. He's got that new lip on and it's finished in satin chalk gray. As we get in the car here, we will see some major changes in here as well. Now from the inside, everything looks basically the same, but it's not. Not only has he added this new train horn, <laughs> but my guy Dre here happens to be a wiring expert. Not only does he have the headlight switch here, but this is the exhaust cutout now. Take a listen with the valve closed. And let's try that again. Oh yeah. And before we get going, I want to let you guys know that this car is actually for sale. I'll give you guys more information at the end of this video. I didn't stall. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I forget it's not the Z. I gotta actually give it some gas to get it going. We're gonna keep the valves closed on these streets because they are super strict around here and this car is really loud. All right. As you guys can tell, with the valves closed, this is pretty casual to drive. It feels like a stock Evo, no boost, no problems. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck, I had to go left here. Can I finesse someone? Yeah, I need to. Sorry, buddy. Okay, I can't do that. <laughs> How is there traffic in the mountains? I know. Uh. Now that we got these cars out of the way, oh great, more construction. What construction is there to do on the fucking mountain? All right, I think we're all clear from the cops. The valves come back open. What a difference. <laughs> Be like down there somewhere. 
as you guys can tell, my turbo clearly wasn't big enough for my guy Andre, so he got a bigger one. Well, that can't be good. Uh, uh. Come on, dude. First gear. Did I forget how to drive stick? What the fuck's going on? For all the OG subscribers that knew about my idling issue, well, it's gone now. We're in neutral, car staying alive. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what you guys just watched is basically the last dance here with my old 900 horsepower Evo X. And if you guys couldn't tell, we are here at Ronnie's Mr. Speed Labs because this thing's getting a little refreshment before one of you guys get to enjoy it. Watch your head, watch your head, watch the... Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fucking powers all of LA right here. How you doing? I got a little bit shorter. My name is not Chris. My name is Andre, suited racer, as you guys know. So this is... <laughs> Chris's previous Evo, my current Evo, the water pump failed on the Evo, okay? So what happens when the water pump fails, you gotta take half the damn head off, well the entire head off, and change the water pump. While we did that, we figured we're gonna be selling the car soon, so we might as well give this thing a little bit of a facelift, if you may, you know? So as you can see right over here, the cylinders are in perfect condition. We have the pistons to the left. We'll show you guys the pistons in a minute. The pistons need no changing. We're gonna change the rings. We're gonna refinish the pistons, make them look nice and pretty. The cylinders are in mint condition. This car is officially for sale. Chris enjoyed it for like two years. I enjoyed it for like two years, and now it's ready for someone like you to enjoy. Last week, dynamo with this setup was 880 all-wheel horsepower. <laughs> We're anticipating over the 900 marker. Once this is buttoned up and complete, you guys will see a dyno video for sure. And I'm gonna assume... Uh... Brand new rings going on. These pistons are obviously still in very good shape. They're still the JRP pistons, and Damn. they do not need any more love. They are perfect. Even the coating is still on it. The heat coating is still on there. After three years. After three or four years, and a lot of fucking racing. So guys, <laughs> that motor lasted more than 10,000 miles of hard driving. We weren't just cruise control in that shit. We were fucking sending that bitch. Oh, so, oh, oh. The doctor's in the house. What's up? How you doing, brother? Good, how are you, man? Yeah, I'm great, I'm great. We were just telling about the operation that you're conducting over here, sir. Yep, it's on their way. It's yep. gonna be back better than ever. Clean Carfax, clean title, under 50,000 miles on Evo 10, fresh engine, brand new clutch, brand new Chev transmission, all other miscellaneous goodies with this car. It's gonna be listed at about 54, 55-ish thousand, and well, you can buy like a fucking base C7 for that price. Why would you not buy a 900 wheel horsepower, all wheel drive Evo 10. I don't know. I I don't know why you would you wouldn't just come by this right. Now. And this is, ladies and gentlemen, the final time you ever see this Evo on my channel ever again. But other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I will see you guys in the next one.